परम शांति एक्सक्लूसिव पॉडकास्ट विद जुगल किशोर भाई सीक्रेट टेक्नोलॉजीज एंड एलियन कॉन्टेक्ट पार्ट वन बेहद की परम महाशांति इनफाइनाइट सुप्रीम पीस टू ऑल दीज आर हाईलाइट ऑफ द कन्वर्सेशन बिटवीन अनंत भाई एंड जुगल किशोर भाई ऑन सीक्रेट टेक्नोलॉजीज एंड एलियन कॉन्टेक्ट अनंत भाई स्टार्ट द सेशन विद ग्रीटिंग्स परम शांति सुप्रीम पीस वेलकम एवरी वन ए वेरी हार्टी वेलकम ऑन बापू जी चैनल ऑन दिस चैनल आई एम अनंत एंड विद अस टूडे इज जुगल किशोर कैन यू हेयर मी ऑल राइट कीप एन आई ऑन द कॉमेंट्स टू इन केस दे डू नॉट शो अप सो एवरी वन इज वार्मली वेलकम अगेन टूडे we have our brother with us and today we are going to talk about an incredible topic recently while talking with our brother i understood that he has done a lot of research and is very interested in alien technology and such secret technologies that we people do not know about we will talk about alien contact meaning today's episode is going to be really interesting we did not have time to record so we are doing it live welcome a very warm welcome to all of you divine souls brother we need to know what these secret activities that are going on behind humanity whether america or other big countries are involved in it really is there a need for all this why is the world doing this Jugal Kishore Bhai says supreme peace millions of salutations and respect to ma and bapu ji and to you all just as you mentioned brother this alien technology and secret space programs are such as bapu ji explained aliens want to help humanity now they want to help where dark forces also exist okay what do these dark forces do the aliens make contact where they can influence and they have been doing this for a long time according to the information i have these contacts have been ongoing since 1927 oh it is almost going to be 100 years which is a very big deal people might not realize but it started from the roswell incident it was such an important event that came out in a newspaper and was broadcasted on california radio at that time but later they tried to hide it so they just said it was a balloon anand bhai says yes after that they told the world it was a balloon jigal kishore bhai says yes later they claimed it was a balloon to cover things up but what was actually there was real we only find found out what it was when those who had retrieved the research materials at that time later revealed that there was such a material you could say it was like a light like our foil papers aluminum foil and it was wrapped up even thinner than that and it had a diameter of about 12 feet but you could measure its weight in just a few grams it was that light they lifted it and took it away then a similar incident happened in 1949 between 1947 to 1952 there were more such incidents then the us government destroyed it in 1963 because these things were starting to come to light so they intentionally destroyed it a scientist a researcher named richard doty mentioned that now because it also contain toxic materials like nuclear materials are radioactive it becomes more refined over time and as it refines it becomes more toxic emitting more harmful toxic rays so the ufos were destroyed for that reason okay so now when they had the technology during one of their concerts they were asked why they are making contact they said we want to help humanity so it is their base 
to want to help here bapu ji also mentioned like he said they want to develop the technology here and give knowledge to the people urging them to open their eyes showing that there is more to knowledge than just the material aspect anant bhai says so why does america or such a large country want to keep these matters secret jugal kishor bhai says it is because they have their own agenda they want to control humanity which involves the dark side dark thieves and dark forces in between they want to control it all even though help is coming from behind like the government releasing something to help but in between they are preventing it from researching further not letting it be filtered you see just like in our india there is a concept of below the poverty line the government wants to give everything but there are people in the middle that they have a dark agenda a policy and they want to in some way chip humanity after eliminating a lot of humanity what happened in mars about 10000 years ago there was a terrible war there you would be surprised that the wars are still ongoing there some people who participated there 20 years ago reported that they spent 10 years there getting a lot of information there is a whole system of wars there a psychic girl informed that there is a long island in the usa and she was taken there when she was just 10 or 11 or 12 years old basically these are psychic children part of the secret psychic forces okay the usa has psychic spies who concentrate themselves to acquire secret information anand bhai says yes yes the bapu ji just like bapu ji explained that with the help of this subtle world by contacting there and seeing things from there they show us those things here bapu ji has talked a lot about psychic forces jugal kishor bhai says so like russian psychic powers the psychic force mentioned a girl told that when she was taken to long island there was a five or six story building there with two elevators one elevator was just for going straight up and the other elevator was such that it as if goes up it leads to a warm hole ahead the warm hole is created by alien technology they enter the warm hole and you will be amazed just in 20 minutes they are reaching mars on mars they spent about 9 to 10 years there and she told that she was trained to kill people using psychic powers the wars that are ongoing on mars on the planet mars these cosmic wars are still happening still going on star wars papu ji says star wars keep happening it's a battle of the subtle world well that's true but for that everything is planned out there airplanes guns everything according to the technology there which must be higher from another dimension but all this technology there is provided under german control under their leadership and they handle all the work including nato and others and she mentioned that there are 1500 people who live there scientists some pilots some navigators who manage it all there are 1500 she said about the wars that happened on mars the long term nuclear wars on mars and of the species that survived those who are still there are very helpless and she mentioned around 6000 people are just surviving anand bhai says amazing but currently the pictures they are sending through the spacecraft sent on mars it seems these things are not showing up in those pictures jugal kishor bhai says it's just a cover up story like what they are launching from outside like the james webb you saw it has been more than a year since the launch no special information has come because this information is nothing it will not do anything with the gross information the information that comes from there 
is possible with advanced technology. And they have a lot of faith which they do not let out. So launching a satellite or sending someone into space is just an eyewash. Really, it's just fooling people. Like everyone has an idea how COVID started, who funded it, where it is spread from. But it is an eyewash that it just spread like that. Anand Bhai says, all right, then tell me about people like Bob Lazar, what new information has been provided by him? What has he brought forth? Jugal Kishore Bhai says, Bob Lazar really brought forward new things in this film. I mean, he tried to bring a lot of those UFO and ET contacts to the public eye. He was quite successful in that respect. But it is said that there was a lot of pressure on him. There was a lot of pressure from the US government and he would release information very secretly, little by little. Bob Lazar, Linda Moulton, Richard Doty, these are the people who gradually released all the secret information. People came to know about it, but because of the cover-ups and what actually is happening, people do not believe it. Some believe, some do not. So you could say that the available information is mixed. People think it is just like the information in movies, but what is shown in movies often has a lot of practical base. Anant Bhai says, I completely believe what you are saying and what these people are researching and finding. Like our Bapuji, our Bapuji told us that these things come from observing the subtle world and then showing them here. So it is true that those who believe in or observe this subtle world will definitely believe this. But those who say, I will believe only what I see with my own eyes, then for them it is not even possible to know themselves. Jugal Kishore Bhai says, Actually, as I told you, they travel to Mars in 20 minutes. Likewise, in the galaxy, there is a constellation called Zeta Reticuli. There are planets there and they can travel there too. But they travel in such a way that they have room created there where there is a frequency of terahertz. Like we have heard of frequencies like megahertz, terahertz, picahertz. It is a much higher frequency. At that higher frequency, upon entering, the body disintegrates. The body takes a subtle form and it is as if we know we have an existence. But we become an idea or thought. I mean the body will convert into turns into particles, photons. As all is made up of light, so it will convert to photons. And because traveling in space, even light takes 300,000 kilometers per second. So light doesn't travel that much. But the photons do, as they are faster. As we say in quantum mechanics, quantum is ahead, subquantum, then further and further into its subtle levels. So the higher the frequency it is exposed to and converted, accordingly the body is formed. And that body, just with a thought that you need to go to Plaid, Pleiades and planet in Zeta Reticuli, then it goes there. After reaching there, it stays in that atmosphere as long as it stays, then comes back. Then the body becomes all toxic, turns into nuclear material. Then that has to be removed. So they take precautions not to stay there too long so that the body doesn't completely corrupt. There are many such secret programs that are revealed a little from somewhere and just understand that it is like a tip of the iceberg, like you see only a little, while much is happening underground. Anant Bhai says, as you had mentioned that there is also a brother's family there. Which constellation is it in? Yugal Kishore Bhai says it is in Zeta Reticuli constellation. On one of the planets there, he essentially went there to study as a pilot of that force. 
He spent six years on a planet there. The species there are just like ours in appearance, with faces and everything. But they do not have ears for hearing. They transmit thoughts. There is a family system there. They have an established marriage system there. There are families, but those people are a very advanced stage species. So their emotions are also quite light, not as intense as ours here. Their emotional intensity is lighter. There is a sense of belonging there. His daughter was also born there. He told that when I came back, it happened. It had been four years according to their time. But their thought process is such that the whole community knows everyone's thoughts. Nothing is hidden there. Whatever planning you have in your mind, everyone knows. They are centrally the same. Their bodies are made up of same material as the planet, and their technology is very advanced. When they travel in space, it is just like as Bapuji says, within a blink, they can reach another galaxy. Anant Bhai says, where and how do you get all this information? Jugal Kishore Bhai says, brother, I was interested. So these people who are involved in such operations, generally pilots. And engineers from the USA and Europe, they disclose it. Government never wants such things to be disclosed, but in the government of Europe or elsewhere, they never want it. But these people slowly say that people should know about reality. Humanity is being kept in the dark, while the reality is that humanity can reach from one place to another. If all these things come out in the open. Then the nature of technology would completely change here on our earth. Nobody would need food because everything would transfer to particle matter. Anant Bhai says, "Okay, I want to stop you here and ask you. Just mention about our Indian scriptures, the Vedas and Puranas, about all the great characters like Naraji who would be interstellar." Traveling from higher realms to lower ones, disappear into another world, and then emerge and reappear. Listen to conversations from afar, and then come to help if called upon. Do you think they had some extraordinary technology in our Brahman or solar system? What do you think about this? Jugal Kishore Bhai says, "What you are referring to is the power of the soul." The power of the individual souls, and what they had is essentially a mix of physical, gross, and subtle world technologies. That is why you see most inventions coming from Europe and the USA, be it the telephone, mobile phones, air conditioning, television. All these discoveries were predominantly from there. Elements in chemistry, injections, antibiotics. Most research happens there. This research is such that it is a close combination of gross and subtle technologies, and they help them because it is in their nature. As Babuji explained about G one and G two, Anant Bhai says, "Do you think they possess the concept of immortality?" Jugal Kishore Bhai says they do not have the concept of immortality, but as their species exist in the galaxy, in the universe, or the great universe, and time there is very long. Galaxy time is very long. When they have conversation, they are asked how long their lives are, and they say we are eternal. They call it immortality because their life span is in the millions and trillions of the years. Since their creation, so much creation has happened, and they remain unchanged. That's why they feel like they are eternal. Anand Bhai says, "Isn't it that amazing? Our cycles here spin in just a few hundred thousand years, and there they have such longevity. How lucky they are to truly experience immortality like that." Jugal Kishore Bhai says, "Like we have our own galaxy, and within this galaxy there are solar systems. 
let's say within the milky way there is also our small solar system which is spinning very quickly yes and it remains still at the center absolutely slow slowly slowly from there you can see all the scenes as if like bapu ji explains anant bhai says okay sorry to interrupt but among these things that you are about to say or are thinking they spoke about the end of universe what exists beyond the universe Jugal Kishore Bhai says they spoke about the universe but they said that our reach is up to the universe there is something beyond it but we cannot Anant Bhai says they psychic people cannot tell what is beyond the universe okay and they also do not have a concept of multiverses right sorry you were saying something in between i interrupted bapu ji was saying something you were explaining about it Jugal Kishore Bhai says yes like Bapu ji tells us moment by moment galaxies and moment by moment universes are forming and deteriorating and less universes are forming once a galaxy is created until it is great dissolution so until then whatever solar systems are there in between some solar systems are dissolving some are forming a new so life here are just accordingly now even in our solar system forward from the planets like earth earth is spinning fast now this solar system is a bit slower from that than slower in the galaxy and even slower when we go into the universe so that's why there was contact with almost 82 species on earth that are currently working on earth 82 extraterrestrial species who are aliens who have made contact on earth anant bhai says okay so there are 82 types of aliens with whom contact has been made how many more could there be i mean jugal kishore bhai says there could be many more there are many who do not come in contact we will find out later but what they said is that some have come from the universe some from galaxies they want to do good for people they want to do good to protect but for those who do not let the who do not get the medium the medium through which they can help in 1988 i am telling you a bit about this let me tell you that there is a base on the planet mars there is a crater inside a volcano there and inside the crater there is a base like a volcano it has a mouth it has a mouth inside it there is a base so they so there are about 1500 1500 scientists from earth on mars and there are military operators who stay there about 1500 of them and maximum and maximum with psychic powers some who operate the spaceships and airplanes there and some scientists research there analyze data they participate in star wars there presently also this is going on in 1988 there were 1500 someone disclosed this john sark disclosed it he was an ex pilot of the us navy he told about these things that there is a base inside the crater so they operate from there leadership is german and those people who went from here are the ones from usa they said that they learned german first when they went there they learned german but the german there is different from this german but is german only the germans on earth have their origins from there they operate like this and their technology is very advanced if they go into space suppose they travel a lakh kilometer whoever they are having war with they can destroy they will be back in just 2 minutes such is the technology there anant bhai says so i mean what kind of messages have they given to the people of the world or have they given any scary messages that we shouldn't make contact otherwise they will destroy us has there been such a thing 
जुगल किशोर भाई से दोज पीपल हु आर जनरली टॉकिंग अबाउट एलियंस अटैकिंग आर एक्चुअली स्प्रेडिंग फेयर दे क्लेम दैट दीज एलियंस वॉन्ट टू अटैक अर्थ एंड कम्प्लीटली टेक ओवर हाउ एवर द रियालिटी इज डिफरेंट दीज एलियंस वॉन्ट टू हेल्प बिकॉज द सिविलाइजेशन ऑन अर्थ इज क्वाइट बैकवर्ड टेक्नोलॉजिकली दे वॉन्ट टू असिस्ट विद टेक्नोलॉजी टू डेवलप द ह्यूमन माइंड फर्दर so that our civilization can advance but those with dark agendas capture this narrative and then push their own agendas they are the ones creating this hip that the aliens want to attack those dark entities kind of like the illuminati illuminati are spreading this misinformation anant bhai says bapu ji mentioned in one of his videos that these illuminati people even sent away jesus christ saying you go we will handle everything they just took over and established their rule everywhere jigol kishor bhai says so what they do is control top scientists top military leaders or even presidents they take control of them and sometimes they even kidnap them what is called an alien abduction they will scan their minds thoroughly see what thoughts they have and then implant their own agendas into them afterwards these individuals work under their commands that is how their dark agenda works therefore what could have been a helpful alien intervention doesn't occur because of this interference otherwise any good development that has occurred can be said to be a blessing in disguise because it led to development here which eventually benefits people and gradually opening up their minds anant bhai says is there any concept of gods or deities or angels among those with psychic powers do aliens discuss such concepts of godliness or something similar jugal kishor bhai says they somewhat explore concepts of the soul suggesting that for them religion is essentially about goodness maintaining good thoughts and a positive mindset their religion is essentially about maintaining a state of good thinking for the betterment of their entire society if any problem arises they collectively handle it and share the responsibility if something like a star war occurs they all come together Anant Bhai says have they ever mentioned that communication between humans and aliens can only happen through psychic powers or thoughts alone without any other medium or language Jewel Kishore Bhai says they apparently use machines now like systems nowadays convey are used for converting and coding languages which then get displayed also they have secret bases like in Antarctica or under the atlantic ocean which seem like another dimension and others in volcanoes like in south america anant bhai says have they revealed anything about the future of earth or extracted some essence through psychic powers regarding what is going to happen jugal kishor bhai says they do say that a change is going to happen on earth which is what they keep saying also about bob lazar He has exposed those with dark agendas. Bob Lazar did a great job. He tried his best to disclose as much as he, he could, but they didn't let him go further. Anant Bhai says, "So did people not mention anything about the subtle world or the world of ghosts, spirits, or angels?" Jugal Kishore Bhai says, "People think of ghosts and spirits like insects that come." from the far they are aware of their existence they acknowledge but they exist they acknowledge that there are many of them but they are helpless they do not have any power but those from the dark side use them they utilize them by giving them power from behind and make them do wrong deeds like many things that happen on earth like i was telling you about the time of world war 2 in germany so in germany what they did was they had jews in concentration camps right 
and they started experimenting with the idea that if we want to do space travel then to prepare a human for space travel is spin them spin them for an hour put them in a circular spinner and spin them as fast as possible to see what happens to their position and what their mental state is after an hour so they were trying to achieve this frequently completely shift to mars where they have a connection like they did in germany like trans teleportation they were trying to do it here anand bhai says have they said anything about teleportation from here on earth that there been any instances where people reached mars with their bodies intact has there ever been any discussion about that jugal kishore bhai says no not with the body but they have this other process where they converted in quantum into photons and then they travel nobody has ever mentioned anyone traveling with a body they never mentioned it even when their galactic councils like the councils of nine some have a federation the galactic federation there is a federation of 15 it involves 15 people at the maximum but those who actually do the work they have to include them that group of 15 want to introduce good things but decisions there have to be made unanimously which is why sometimes they are unable to make decisions now when they have their meetings in an alien aircraft and if there is someone from earth there is one from usa or a european president they take them but first their body gets converted it will be according to the fact that it is an alien spaceship absolutely light someone explain what kind of scene it is there so they said there is a very big round table and everyone sits around it those 15 then share their thoughts there what happens as if you place your hand there all your thoughts will start to be displayed on a big screen this technology that we were seeing coming to earth it originates from there as soon as you place your hand whatever thoughts you want to communicate will automatically start appearing and anyone understands in whatever language they understand will understand it when they also place their hand there communication there works like this it is a next level of very sophisticated technology and on earth we need to understand that we have become technologically very advanced but it's not apparent to people yet at this time the wireless communication we have is just an example of this but in the coming times things like tablets which are hard copies will disappear if technology continues this way it will become so advanced that with a small piece of equipment you will be able to create whatever you want in the air the technology basically works on the thought process and the power behind it the subtle technology works with the power of thought in the sukshum physical one you have to depend on material but with the subtle one you can create only your technology and you are one and the same does the aliens who travel their spaceship and their bodies are made up of same material and they communicate with their spaceship which is alive meaning if it gets damaged those beings inside feel the pain and their thought process itself runs it it doesn't require much force to operate and for this the fuel that works is their thought power it doesn't need any fuel like we think anant bhai says like sorry i interrupted because there was a video from bapu ji about type 1 civilization type 2 type 3 type 40 so about the civilization he mentioned where bapu ji said that we could use solar energy then move on to using energy directly from the galaxy and eventually harness energy from the entire universe so what about this concept of obtaining energy jugal kishore bhai says yes they have discussed it but they didn't specify the level it is at 
लाइक वेन दे कम फ्रॉम द यूनिवर्स दे बिलोंग टू ए टाइप टू और थ्री सिविलाइजेशन विच इज वाई देर यू आर फोर्स आर सो फेस्ट दे कैन कम्प्लीटली वाइंड अप एंड इवन क्रिएट ए न्यू नाउ एज दे आर कमिंग फ्रॉम द यूनिवर्स दे मैनेज द गैलेक्सी एंड दे विल क्रिएट देयर ओन गैलेक्सी दे विल रिजाइड ऑन इट एज बापू जी एक्सप्लेन दैट आवर गैलेक्सी इज फुल सो दे हैव कम एंड मेड देयर ओन स्पेयर ए स्पेयर मीनिंग देयर ओन प्लेनेट और क्रिएटेड देयर गैलेक्सी so suddenly in a way it is their own world their closed system from there they will travel and no one there can interfere like the anti gravity that papu ji mentioned they have their security set up there so if there is any dan- danger coming their way all of them will know suppose in that spaceship which is their sphere in the galaxy if there are 500 beings all 500 of them will know there is a danger as soon as they sense something coming their way they will secure themselves by disintegrating it pack it up and shift it somewhere else so this is the kind of next level technology they have generally a type 2 galaxy level technology they can generally manage to wind up till galaxies with advanced technology Anand Bhai says wow such amazing discussions are happening with us today i mean i am also interested in all these discussions but never have i openly discussed this because it is hard to remember all these details or find someone so interested to discuss with that it becomes truly enjoyable please continue jugal kishor bhai says i started researching this about 4 to 5 years ago along with the knowledge of bapu ji because bapu ji also mentioned it and i was interested in how it works because as we embody knowledge in our true self if we understand this technology too then we can fully comprehend it and if we are doing research work then we can also utilize it well but because bapu ji said it would be technology on a spiritual level then that is where the whole change will happen it will be technology on a spiritual level a sukshm level subtle level technology then after 2018 program wasn't successful i looked into it and thought let's explore this space to see what's happening anant bhai says what new thing did you find that would seem significant to a common person Jugal Kishor Bhai says what is struck me is that we think this earth is everything there is nothing beyond it but if you try to understand the next level of knowledge you will realize that we are practically in a stone age as soon as we open our eyes we will be free from here on that level they are free beings they roam anywhere in the galaxy making contact with others without any binding like on earth where they have to labor continuously for 24 hours anant bhai says so all this information we are hearing its source are only the psychics jigal kishore bhai says no some of its psychics have shared but there are those who have worked with such technologies like i told you about the pilot who stayed in zeta reticuli for 6 years he brought all the information from there so this information is mixed some of it is from psychics anant bhai says what did bob lazar do jugal kishor bhai says bob lazar was involved in secret programs involving ufos and the transfer of secret technology from aliens working to expose this so that it comes in front of the people revealing what all is happening anand bhai says in the world like in america and other developed countries i think 70 to 80% of the people believe in the existence of these things and the government doesn't tell the public jugal kishor bhai says a real awareness generally helps now if you look at our population on earth it's around 800 crore 
with approximately 700 crore people just involved in the struggle for daily bread. They are just looking to get by. And then there are those who have some material wealth. They are lost in the material accumulation, are obsessed and have mentally blocked themselves. Those who understand a bit and have some consciousness, even their psychic power works. Call it psyche or their level of consciousness gets better. Like some people get involved with their spiritualism. Anand Bhai says, have they ever talked about spiritualism or about souls, saying that these beings are more powerful than aliens? Yugal Kishore Bhai says, they have explained that like Vishnu is concerned, one of our extraterrestrial beings, Vishnu is like an ET. They say that we are a similar race. Anant Bhai says, okay, from the category of the souls like Vishnu, what a thing. Jugal Kishore Bhai says, they said Vishnu actually belongs to the category of Mahavishnu from the galaxy. They used to call themselves Azebians. They said that Vishnu is also an Azebian. And so are we. So just like Vishnu's status, statues are blue, they are blue because he is an Azebian as well. Aliens are shown in blue color. There are different ones like the tall white from Zeta Reticuli and there are some gray aliens and some reptilians. Anand Bhai says, Okay, tell me a bit about reptilians. There is a lot of talk these days that reptilians have been born on earth and some of them are prime ministers or presidents of the countries. Jugal Kishore Bhai says, Reptilians are basically understood to represent the negative side. But they too have a lot of power. Reptilians have their agenda and the council of 15 tries their best to fail prevent their agenda from succeeding. It is understood that reptilians want to control the earth. It is believed that reptilians once ruled earth long ago, millions of years ago, and were then driven off this planet after a war. They went to another planet but are now trying again to come back here. Anant Bhai says, these people talk about the world of souls here on earth or the concept of liberation, moksha, or the concept of gods and goddesses. What do they believe about that? Jugal Kishore Bhai says, they speak about the concept of the soul. They talk about soul, belief and our spiritual power very highly and see it with great esteem. And as for the theory of karma, they hardly ever talk about it because they are not involved in it. They stay behind. By helping and then stepping back, they do not really mention the karma theory. But they do hold spiritually in high regard. Anant Bhai says, like Bapuji says, our body is made up of light as light beings, a kind of luminous brightness. Jugal Kishore Bhai says, exactly. They talk about the body being made up of light, which is exactly what you are saying. And Bapuji talks about knowledge that every soul is the ultimate light from another universe. A refined material, somewhat more than one universe and highly refined from other. Anant Bhai says, so what is the highest level they have spoken about? Which distant galaxy have these people come from? Jugal Kishore Bhai says, they have spoken about something beyond our universe. They haven't mentioned the multiverse specifically. Anant Bhai says, but have they suggested there is a place above the universe or a place from where we come or people are coming here? Jugal Kishore Bhai says, they mention beyond the horizon of the universe, a point where our universe ends like which Bapuji describes as the full area of the universe. Anant Bhai says, okay, so our scientific perspective of sight and their way of seeing are different. They haven't exactly defined and we do not know what they call us the border. Jugal Kishore Bhai says, the term universe and others like it have come to us through them, 
descent sending the rays and got it done. Otherwise, we didn't know of such terms before. In our Hindu scriptures, universe was not known. What we refer to as the universe was known as Brahman and what we call Milky Way was known by names like Mandakani. There were names like Akash Ganga, which is Milky Way, Mandakani and the Saptrishi Mandal constellation. But they were not scientific terms. Anant Bhai says, have they talked about some ancient sages, the Saptrishis or such people who come to save the earth? Have they ever made contact? Jugal Kishore Bhai says, there was nothing like that mentioned but they said that from time to time beings from one galaxy or another from the universe come to earth. Anant Bhai says, was there ever an encounter with them? Jugal Kishore Bhai says, no encounter was mentioned like that. But they said that they come from time to time to help and efforts have been ongoing for a long time to elevate technology to a higher level and to assist people. Anant Bhai says, do people say anything about religion like it is useless or is it beneficial or it can be helpful? Joel Kishore Bhai says, when they talk about religion, they view it as a belief system, spiritual awareness and consciousness. They see it in a good way, but their level of religion is that it is about good thoughts. Anant Bhai says, okay, do these people say that the laws of earth are completely useless or that humans die quickly or that the system here prevents them from experiencing immortality. Everything is there, but life ends. Bodies age. Souls. Jugal Kishore Bhai. They refer to it as human fragility. Saying here life is very short and the human body is fragile. You see this as a weakness. The body here is heavy and you cannot travel much. But as the spiritual evolution occurs, like Bapuji says, our aura expands and that feels very good to them. Anant Bhai says, we should tell them to come listen to our profound Behad Gyan knowledge. It is beneficial. Jugal Kishore Bhai says, Bapuji told us that when the class was conducted, Anant Bhai says, where even aliens used to come and sit. Yes, this is the very place where the shooting is happening live. Bapuji has been imparting knowledge here for the past 25 years and this is the hall where UFOs and aliens used to come and sit through the class, listening and then would leave after the class. Who knows, they might be with us here today listening to our discussions. Who knows? Help them out. They really need your assistance. Jugal Kishore Bhai, advance our technology so that people's eyes are opened. Anant Bhai says, look a year later, our equipment has been updated. We got a new microphone, better lighting. Tell me, when you hear these things, what thoughts come to your mind? Do you think it's all a hoax, lies, nonsense or does something true appear to be there? Jugal Kishore Bhai says, some things feel a bit superficial when they talk about them. But it is different when they say it happened because it kind of feels right. Anant Bhai says, listening to these talks, especially since we consider our Bapuji as our divine guru, God himself, it feels absolutely right when he, he speaks this way. It matches perfectly with what I feel. And look, we have never had such discussions with anyone else because perhaps no one else in our group has conducted such research. That's why ask you this question. I never mentioned it to anyone else. Because when I watch episodes of Ancient Aliens, I get so motivated. It really seems like everything is about higher realms, not about earthly matters. Everything is up there, all above. Jugal Kishore Bhai says, they have explained there about stargates. They have made stargates. So as soon as you come into contact with them, there is a stargate that is like a wormhole. 
you enter it and wherever you want to go you will come out there anant bhai says didn't papu ji say in his video that they also have a toll gate installed there you have to give power to move to another place that is very cool thing right what did they say about the power did they say that they can create galaxies or create black holes jugal kishor bhai says no they talk about warm holes for travel they didn't talk about creation for travel they have just mentioned that we are creation some said creators so some mentioned that all these species on that planet are creation we are creation yes we are creation and their numbers are almost fixed they do not increase unless there is a need their population doesn't grow much tehat ki param shanti this concludes part 1 param shanti behad ki parama shanti and finally supreme peace to all these are highlights of the conversation between anand bhai and jugal kishor bhai on sacred technologies and alien contact anand bhai starts the session with greeting welcome everyone once again to our network the connection was broken and it was disrupting so we are doing it again in part 2 we were talking with brother about alien technology and their contacts and the data available on the internet about this which discusses things from around the world that's what we are going to discuss here today so tell me brother what else was left to discuss this brother had mentioned being in contact jugal kishore bhai says our moon yes the creation of the moon happened 13 million years ago 13 billion years ago it was created anand bai says so this is also the age of earth around 13.1 or 14.1 billion years that's what is being said jugal kishore bai says yes it happened a bit after that anand bai says right at the start of the brahman solar system when earth was formed at the same time the moon was also formed Jugal Kishore Bai says they mentioned that many species are living there on the moon but they are not from earth they are from different places Anand Bai says all right okay yes so our Bapu ji's video right life on moon and then life on mars both are different and in his videos he talks about the same things Jugal Kishore Bai says absolutely whatever Papu ji has described matches perfectly exactly so they mentioned that there are these towers on moon about 9 to 10 kilometers high where they live anand bhai says really on the moon on the moon that's where our ancestor lives right in the lunar people jugal kishore bhai says they are towers of another dimension let's say it made of light where the other ets who are from places including andromeda reside he had mentioned this in he, in a video about life in andromeda anand bhai says what does it say in that jugal kishore bhai says they specifically mentioned that the ets from andromeda and zeta reticuli are earth friendly anand bhai says okay that Jugal Kishore Bhai says they came here with the motive to help this was mentioned and those against them are reptilians they are disruptive ones anand bhai says do they have conflict among themselves jugal kishore bhai says yes they face each other and those who are psychic they cause harm to them it's like bapu ji says if they send a thought it will cause them harm it is through the thought process anand bhai says okay merely by thought jugal kishore bhai says yes by mere thought from the thought power so this is psychic force it works like a fighting force as bapu ji explains these shaktis powers 
were created for a specific role to remove negativity just like the mentioned about a girl who is part of the psychic force she was created for this purpose anandai says who was this girl tell us a bit more about her jikul kishor bhai says her name just a minute i'll tell you uh, she was from the usa when she was 10 year old they made a whole group of about 60 to 70 people was made it was a psychic force they chose children who had good psychic abilities who could feel it from someone was behind a wall they could feel if something is there but some of them didn't survive because the training was very harsh those 20 who survived shared their experiences they were trained to kill by thought just like papu ji explained shaktis protect us these powers protect us and these powers also function in the same way these two things tell so when i heard about these things i really enjoyed it because it's a complete knowledge here it was about the galaxy and this is about our shaktis arand bhai says because the sukshma jagat the subtle room is also talking about it it indeed comes from the sukshma jagat the subtle room and these things are happening there and this is what bapu ji is explaining and it's absolutely tallies with everything jugal kishor bhai says it's going on and as i was saying about them europe but america had all this information from for a long time later after nato was established with its headquarters in paris france they set up an elite forces headquarters in 1963 there they also had interactions with an alien race and there was one robert dean who disclosed this robert dean revealed that when he found out about what was happening here in 1963 the usa knew already back in 1949 especially when we talk about roswell at the time they knew everything about how many alien groups were there and how many interplanetary interstellar and intergalactic races are there there are so many and there are councils like the galactic council these planetary interstellar and intergalactic councils all operate separately join us daily for our morning live meditation monday to saturday 5:30 to 6:30 am join us daily for live meditation 10 pm to 11 pm on youtube live subscribe now website www.paramshanti.org email us anand@paramshanti.org like share subscribe join today Dehad ki param shanti so